Would you give this woman CPR? Let me tell you a story. It's 2 a.m. in the hospital and you're one of the doctors on call. Emma, a 65-year-old frail lady with severe heart failure, is wheeled in after an episode of breathlessness at home. She's weak, her skin is pale, and her breathing is extremely laboured. As you assess her, you spot it, a faded tattoo on her chest that reads D-N-A-R, that stands for Do Not Attempt Resuscitation. It looks very old, but you can definitely make it out. Then her daughter arrives. She hasn't spoken to her daughter in over 20 years, but she's tearfully insisting that the tattoo doesn't count, that her mum has fought this sort of thing before, and if her heart stops, you must do CPR. The daughter also tells you that over the last six months, she's become gradually worse and worse, and has been bedbound for the last two months. The patient is very unwell, not orientated, and not able to engage you in discussion about this. She worsens, the daughter is still pleading, the patient's condition worsens, and she arrests. So what would you do? Do you respect that tattoo as a sign of the patient's wishes? Hold off doing CPR and focus on comfort care. Or do you listen to the daughter? Do you override the tattoo and attempt CPR in an attempt to regain cardiac output? This is the kind of tough call we have to make. I'm really interested to see what you all think, so please leave your comments below. I'll read them all and share my thoughts and explanation for this topic tomorrow.